These children were taken into the custody of the state and confined to the Sununu Youth Services Center, which is formerly known as the Youth Development Center, where they were beaten, raped, and tortured by state employees whose sole job it was to protect and rehabilitate them. That was the first and only time I'd ever been. Yeah, I'll do it. Make, make sure he's comfortable. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine either way. I have scars, physical, mental, and emotional. There is some public knowledge stuff, though, that like links. It started with David Meehan, and by January of 2020, when we filed our lawsuit, uh, it had ballooned into 35 individuals who were uh, abused between the ages of 11 and 17 between the years of 1982 and 2014. Um, today, that number has mushroomed to 230 individuals uh, who were abused between the ages of 7 and 18 between the years of 1963 and 2018. It's mind-boggling. I, I, I can't picture in what world we live in that, that people would do this, let alone allow it to happen. I do remember there was an instance where there was a CO who was caught by the administration um, sexually advancing on uh, some of the kids. And instead of firing him or anything, they just relocated him to the security bubble where he didn't have interaction with the kids. In my opinion, that's it's crazy. So instead of him having interaction with the kids, he just gets to watch over them on the monitors. I don't believe he being involved in it is gonna fix the past or any type of outcome will make me whole or would make anyone who's been through this whole. Um, like I said, it takes a part of you. Um, I feel like it could help keep future kids whole and you know protect them. I have PTSD and I live it. We live it a lot. Every night, every other night, it's, I, it never stops, you know? And The impact that the abuse has had on my life after the Sununu Center has been, has caused a lot of substance abuse throughout my whole life. Um, I've been in and out of the systems since then, probably three years out, two, three years out, if that. A lot of health issues, um, mental health. You know, when they came out of this facility, they had no real life skills and they were crime victims and they were ashamed and embarrassed and were led to believe that no one would believe them because when they told people inside the facility what was going on, they were gaslighted, and they were told that they were liars, or they told that they had inflicted the, the injuries on themselves. There are now over 150 individuals who have been identified by my clients who are alleged to have been conducted some type of abuse or been involved in some type of abuse, and over 75 of those um, involve sexual abuse. This is the most horrific case of systemic governmental child abuse that I have ever seen or heard of. And I imagine that it's unheard of in New Hampshire, if not in the United States.